Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into installing and configuring Microsoft Office for your remote desktop users. By the end of this video, your users will be able to work from anywhere with Office apps and will make your life easier by using some cool group policy tricks. Let's get started. Before we get started, make sure you've got a working remote desktop service environment. If not, we've got you covered with our step-by-step -step, uh, guide. What you will need is some basic group policy knowledge. Check out our guide for group policy best practice guide. And optionally, more on that later, we will need an extra virtual machine for deploying remote apps. I will call mine Remote Desktop 2. First, we need to download the Office deployment tool. Head over to the Microsoft, Microsoft site and grab it from here. Once downloaded, you can extract it to a folder. And let's choose CTEMP for simplicity. Now that we have the deployment tool, head over to config.office.com to create your custom Office configuration file. Choose to create a new configuration and pick the apps you want to install. Here you can choose the Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise or for business, depending on your license. I'll choose business in my use case. Select the update channel Select if you want the latest version or a previous build. And here you can choose if you want to exclude certain applications. By default, uh, your language will match your operating system. But you can also add additional languages. Like for example, if you want Dutch, French, and English. You can also select additional proofing tools for your languages. I like to choose the Office Content Delivery Network, so I'm always up to date and don't have to store the files locally. But if you have a, an internet connection that is slow or you want to push it to multiple devices, you can also specify a local source. Once you have configured everything to your liking, it's very important under per, uh, licensing and activation to select shared computer licensing. Once you're finished, you can export your configuration file. I like to choose open office XML formats if you plan to use everything as Microsoft. If you also plan to support open office documents, you can choose open document format. Accept the terms in the license agreement, give your configuration a name and press export. Now that we have our config file, now run the Office installer. Now that we have got the configuration ready, let's get Office installed. I've prepared everything under my C temp folder, which will include my setup file and my config file. Start by opening the control panel and select the small icons. Trust me, it's much easier to see everything. Select Install Application or Remote Desktop and follow the wizard. Once Office is installed, here's a quick tip. Copy the application shortcuts to the public desktop. This way, all your users can easily access them. Start by navigating to the Start menu shortcuts and open the location. Next, we want to navigate to the public desktop and copy over the icons you want publicly available for all users. This way, every user gets easy access and since they don't have admin rights, they can't delete them. Next up, let's configure office settings using group policy can start by downloading the latest ADMX files. In 
If you need a refresher on setting up a central store, again, check out our Group Policy Best Practices Guide. Next up, let's configure our office settings using group policy. By using group policy, you can configure office settings and make sure all your users are getting the same experience. You can create a group policy by opening group policy management, right-clicking group policy object, select new and give it a name. I have already prepared my policies in advance. You can edit them by right clicking your policy, click edit, go to policies under user configuration, administrate template, and here you will see all the settings. Like always, I have compiled a list on my website with all policies that I've configured in my demonstration with the exact location and all the settings, so you can follow along quite easily. After you are done with your policy, do not forget to assign them to the right OU. Finally, if you don't want to give users a full desktop, you can deploy Office as a remote app. It will save you on resources and will give users a more streamlined experience. Open Server Manager and right click All Servers. In my example, I've prepared RDS2 and add the server. Go to Remote Desktop Services and add your new RD Session Host Server. Next, create session collection and let's call it, for example, remote applications. Select your remote desktop server host, assign the user group, and if you are using FS Logix, make sure to not enable user profile disks. Next, under your new collection, you can choose to publish a remote app program. Let's for example select Excel, Edge and our trusted calculator. And that's it, you've successfully installed and configured Office or Remote Desktop Services. Now your users can open Office or any other app from their local desktops without the overhead of a full desktop connection. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Drop a comment if you have any questions and as always, happy configuring!
Hey everyone, I just want to take a moment to give a huge thank you to each and every one of you who watches, subscribes, likes and comments on my videos. I can't believe we're so close to 30,000 subscribers. That's absolutely incredible and it's all thanks to you. Your support means the world to me and I'm so grateful for this amazing community we're building together. Whether you're here to learn, to share your own tips or just to join in on the fun, you're a vital part of this channel and I couldn't have come this far without you. A special shout out to everyone who's been joining in on our Tech Trivia Tuesdays and who participated in our big 30k celebration quiz. I know the quizzes are anonymous so I can't give individual, individual shout outs but I see you out there and I appreciate every single one of you who took the time to join in. If you, or if you participated, please leave a comment so I can thank you personally. Starting with subs without videos. You're all amazing and I love to hear from you. Thank you again for your incredible support. Let's keep this journey going and see where it takes us next. Here's to the next milestone.